Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing off my Samsung Q6 FN 55 inch HDR Smart TV. Now the reason I'm showing this off is because a few of you did request to see how the screen performs outside um, of my recording so you can actually see it from how I see it. Now of course this is being recorded on my Samsung Galaxy S7 so there won't be any HDR content coming through but at least I'll be able to show you how it looks when gaming at 120 FPS on the PC. I'll even throw in some 4K gameplay on the PS4 Pro. So just have a quick look on my desk. Let's wait for this to focus. This is how it looks. It is quite a tall screen but for me it is pretty comfortable. I'm coming up from a 43 inch monitor so my adjustment wasn't so harsh. Now I'll just to quickly show uh, what I'm using. So this is my uh, little monitor display which I use for uh, my capture PC and also when I'm live streaming so I can read comments and things like that. So this is my gaming PC. It's what I call Crimson Discord. i9 9900k at 5 gigahertz, 32 gigabytes of G-Skill um, 3600MHz DDR4. Water cooled RTX 2080 Ti by NVIDIA, 1000 watt power supply, and plenty of storage, including a custom water cool setup. So, very, very capable 4K PC. Underneath here, I have the PS4 Pro, and that's what I'll be bringing you my console gameplay from. And of course, I've got my recording PC here, which does pretty much does all my streaming and game capture. So that's just a look at what I'm using and uh, I'm going to show you how this game or how this TV performs at 120 FPS. So guys this is Battlefield 5 at 2560 by 1440 and PC locked at 120 FPS. I'm going to quickly show you that you indeed have 120 Hz support. So look at the settings here, playing at ultra settings. I have dropped the anti-aliasing a little bit, but apart from that, everything is pretty much maxed out. Okay, so let's just have a look at how the TV performs. In terms of response, it's very, very responsive. You can barely tell. Um, for me, I was worried about playing computer games on the TV due to input lag, but virtually non-existent. And um, for anyone that's considering buying a TV to place for first person shooters, I can kind of assure you there's nothing to worry about. So I took that guy out here. I tried to be as fast paced as possible. I also tried to keep, try and challenge the TV. But the colors are incredibly rich and you'd think Dropping down from a native resolution that things will start to get quite blurry. But that is absolutely not the case in terms of the Samsung Q6 FN. And I would just, I shouldn't really be too surprised because it's a TV at the end of the day. I would assume content as low as 720p would be expected to run on this type of display. So it does compensate very well uh, for lower resolution content. So Anyone worried about dropping down to 1440p um, and losing a ton of image quality? It really isn't something to worry about. You just take out these guys trying to gang up on me. I need to hold this spot. These guys are fighting hard. But yeah, very, very impressed with the response time. So when you put this, get, this TV into game mode, it really, really does feel snappy and sharp. And when you're on a PC, you'd feel it a lot more than using a controller on a console. Now I will be showing you some 4K content and I, won't, I don't want you console gamers to miss out. So I will be playing my PS4 Pro just to kind of let you guys see how it looks and how it, how it feels. Now the good thing about this TV as well, it has interpolation. This is something I'm not using at the moment, of course, because um, my NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti and Intel i9 9900K uh, makes light work of this game, holding 120 frames per second quite easily. 
une autre fourmi. So I want to play a little bit more of this and then I want to move on to some console gameplay. But um, yeah, very, very pleasantly surprised by the experience of gaming on this 55 inch panel. And yes, most of you would be thinking, well, 55 inches, far too big. Um, I went from a 43 inch to the 55. Ideally, I'd probably want to stay at 49 inch, but the thing is with the, with the Q6 FN, um, the 49 inch panel is only a 60 hertz um, panel, which is a bit disappointing. But um, if you want the 120 hertz native support, you will need to get the 55 inch or above. Now I can stretch my hand out and still not touch my monitor even when sitting at my desk. So for me, um, it's quite comfortable. And one thing I will say about the gate, this uh, display as well, it offers very good HDR and Windows 10 doesn't do the best job in games but in some games compared to some other displays I've had that are HDR compatible this does an amazing job. Shut off his helmet there. So yeah guys hopefully this is coming through to you in, in a positive way. Not too sure how good my Samsung Galaxy S7 is uh, kind of displaying this but um, it really does look very very good and uh, thoroughly impressed. Let me just kill this flame guy or he might kill me. Damn those flames are serious. I think I'm out of ammo. Let me see if I can. I think I did kill him in the end. Yeah just about survived that. <laughs> but anyway guys that's pretty much it for the 120 20 hertz gameplay. So guys, moving on to the PlayStation 4 Pro and some 4K content. This is Horizon Zero Dawn and it is an absolutely stunning game. Easily one of the best looking console games around. Let me just quickly show you the settings that I'm using. So using the favor resolution mode 2160p 4K checkerboard is pretty much 4K. Um, I will be having HDR disabled as the Samsung Galaxy S7 that I'm recording with can't show it off properly so there's no real point. Um, so just looking at the game of course it's visually stunning. The Samsung Q6 FN does an amazing job in presenting the really rich vibrant colours of the game. And uh, the response time on this game is very very good with this TV. So you, you won't have any input lag issues. That's one of the strong points of this TV definitely has very very good input lag and your your movements will pretty much be in real time um, the game does have excellent HDR support unfortunately it's not something you guys will be able to see but uh, I may just enable it anyway just to kind of show it off and I know it won't come through exactly but uh, it is worth seeing because it's one of the game's strong points for sure um, the game doesn't run at 60 frames per second, but this TV has something called interpolation. So when you're moving around, um, the game feels almost as if you're at 60 FPS, although it's somewhat simulated. It does feel a lot smoother than 30 FPS, and um, the TV does a good job of that. So the game feels a lot quicker than he actually is playing. Very, very impressed with this game so far. Um, I've got loads of PS4 games that I've bought um, in the last month or so. I just haven't even touched them because this game has been keeping me thoroughly entertained. So the QLED does a very good job of presenting deep blacks. It's not going to be on the level of an OLED, of course, but um, you can't get much better bang for buck than a QLED screen when it comes to overall performance and, and the price as well. So... I did say earlier I wouldn't put HDR on, but it's such a good um, part of this game that I'm just going to put it on anyway. I know you guys won't appreciate it in its uh, in its truest form because of the camera, but at least you'll get to have some idea of what I'm talking about. So some of the elements in the game, like uh, that halo of light on her ear from her focus, that really, really comes through 
when HDR is enabled, all any kind of LED bright light or fire or anything like that really, really does um, get um, improved over standard dynamic range. So there's quite a lot of that in this game, which is why it benefits so much from HDR. Let me just take this thing out. Hopefully we can get it to explode. Anyway guys, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. This was just a look at how the game performs in 4K on the Samsung Q6 FN. Um, does a very good job for console, PC and just TV as well. And it's a very, very good multi-purpose screen. So I'd recommend it to anyone, especially for the price. It's going to be very difficult to beat. So hopefully this was useful to someone out there. And hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.